derivatives of logarithmic functions. So, sa logarithmic functions, meron tayong dalawang formula dyan. Yung una yung derivative ng ln u equal siya sa du over u. Tapos, yung derivative ng log of u to the base a is equal to du over u times ln a. Okay? So, ito yung examples na sasugutan natin. Okay? Example number 1, find the derivative of ln x raised to 4 plus 2x. So, yung formula, derivative ng ln u ay du over u. So, dito, ang u natin, yung inside function natin na x raised to 4 plus 2x. So, ang du nyan ay 4x cubed plus 2. Okay? So, substitute natin dito sa du over u. So, ang du natin ay 4x cubed plus 2 over, so yung u natin ay x raised to 4 plus 2x. So, ito yung final answer natin sa number 1. Example number 2, find the derivative of ln 4th root of x squared minus 1. So, yung formula ng derivative ng ln u ay du over u. Okay? So, ang u natin dyan, yung 4th root of x squared minus 1. So, ano yung derivative nyan? Diba itong 4th root of x squared minus 1, pwede siyang maging x squared minus 1 raised to 1 fourth. Equal lang yan dito. So, gamitan natin ang chain rule ito para makuha natin yung derivative nito. So, du is equal to 1 fourth times x squared minus 1 raised to 1 fourth minus 1 times derivative nito no, ng x squared minus 1 which is 2x. So, 2x over 4 is equal to x over 2, di ba? Tapos, itong x squared minus 1 raised to 1 fourth minus 1, ito ay negative 3 fourth. Okay? So, itong x squared minus 1 raised to negative 3 fourth, pwede natin siyang i-reciprocal. So, pag reciprocal natin siyang, matitira sa numerator ay x, di ba? So, x over 2 times x squared minus 1 raised to positive 3 fourth. Okay. So, itong exponent na positive 3 fourth, pwede mo siyang i-transform na 2 times 4th root of x squared minus 1 raised to 3. Okay? So, itong x squared minus 1 raised to 3 fourth, equal lang siya dito. Okay? So, ito yung du natin. Oh, ito yung du natin. So, input natin siya dito sa formula. Itong du tsaka yung u. So, x over 2 times 4th root of x squared minus 1 raised to 3 over so yung u natin ito yung 4th root of x squared minus 1 so 4th root of x squared minus 1 so mapapansin nyo pag ito tinimes mo dito sa 4th root of x squared minus 1 etong x squared minus 1 cube madadagdagan ng x squared minus 1 na nakaraise sa 1 so magiging x over 2 times 4th root of x squared minus 1 base 2 4 so since ito ay 4th root tapos nakaraise yung radicand mo sa 4 makancel yan so ang magiging final answer mo ay x over 2 times x squared minus 1 so, ito yung final answer sa number 2. Example number 3, find the derivative of ln x squared square root of x. So, yung formula natin, d over u. So, since ito ay product na dalawang function, ito yung u, ito yung v. So, product rule ang gagawin natin dyan. No? So, kung itong bong to ay u, x squared times square root of x 
ang du nyan ay udv plus vdu, di ba? So, ang u natin, x squared times derivative ng square root of x ay 1 over 2 square root of x plus so yung v natin, square root of x eto times du, so derivative ng x squared ay 2x so ano yung derivative natin? so x squared over 2 square root of x plus square root of x 2x okay so, para maging same denominator sila, times natin dito. So, x squared plus 2 square root of x times square root of x magiging 2x times 2x all over 2 square root of x, ba So, 2x times 2x magiging 4x squared. So, 4x, uh, 4x squared plus x squared magiging 5x squared over 2 square root of x. So, next. Ito yung du natin, di ba? Yung 5x squared over 2 square root of x. Sa so substitute natin sila dito sa formula natin na du over u. So, 5x squared over 2 square root of x over so x squared times square root of x, okay? So, yung 5x squared, di ba, same term dito sa numerator, tsaka dito sa x squared. So, makakancel to. Mawawala yan. Tapos, itong 2 square root of x, the times mo sa square root of x dito sa denominator mo. So, magiging 2x na lang yun, no? So, 5 over 2x. So, ito yung final answer natin. Example number 5, find the derivative of log of x over x plus 1 to the base 7. So, yung for formula natin, kapag nag-derive tayo ng, ng log of u to the base a, ay du over u times ln a. So, kopyahin natin yung formula. So, du over u times ln a. So, yung u natin dyan, etong x over x plus x plus 1 no? so x over x plus 1 so ang du nyan diba ayan ay quotient ng dalawang function so ito yung v natin ito yung u so ang quotient rule ay vdu minus udv over b squared okay so ang v natin x plus 1 diba x plus 1 times derivative ng x 1 minus Kopyahin yung x, u, times derivative ng x plus 1 ay 1. All over x plus 1 squared. Ito yun. Okay? So, ang du natin ay, so, x plus 1 times negative x, ah, uh, minus x over x plus 1 squared. So, kung makakancel ito, ang matitira ay 1 over x plus 1 squared. So, ang du natin ay 1 over x plus 1 squared. Okay? So, itong du natin, tsaka itong u, input natin dito. By the way, yung a pala natin, ang base natin ay 7. So, ang a natin equal to 7. So, du. So, 1 over, 1 over x plus 1 squared divided by so, all divided by u. So, ang u natin ay x over x plus 1 times ln a. So, times ln 7. So, ito. Uh, 1 over x plus 1 squared. Sige, kopyahin muna natin. x plus 1 squared. Ang magiging denominator mo dito, x times ln 7, x times ln7 over x plus 1, di ba? So, kapag ano, uh, nagdi-divide tayo ng dalawang fraction, ito, pinagmumultiply natin, ito. Tapos, ito, sa denominator. So, kung ito yung sa numerator, 1 times x plus 1, magiging x plus 1 over 
So, x plus 1 squared times x ln 7. So, magiging x plus 1 squared times x ln 7. So, napapansin nyo may common factor, di ba? Itong x plus 1 tsaka yung x plus 1 squared. So, kung makakancel to, mababawasan ng isa. Ang magiging final answer natin ay 1 over x plus 1 times x ln 7. So, ito yung final answer natin. Next example, find the derivative of logarithm of sine 2x to the base 2. So, yung formula natin dyan, du over u times ln a. So, yung u natin, sin 2x. So, ano yung derivative ng sin 2x? Yan ay cosine u du, di ba? So, ang derivative ng sin 2x ay cosine u, cosine 2x times du. So, derivative ng 2x times 2. So, ang du natin ay... 2 cosine 2x. So, yung a natin dyan ay 2. Diba? Yung base. No? Okay. So, substitute natin dito sa formula. So, du 2 cosine 2x all over So, yung u natin sine 2x sine 2x tapos itong uh, ln a natin, ln 2. No, ln 2. Mapapansin nyo, meron kang 2 dito, di ba? Pwede mo yan i-reciprocal eh. Pag ni-reciprocal mo yan, nilagay mo sa denominator, magiging cosine 2x over 1 half times sine 2x ln 2, di ba? So, itong 1 half, pag tinimes mo sa ln 2, 1 half ln2, natandaan nyo yung property ng logarithm na n times lnx. Saan equal yan? Sa lnx raised to n. So, since lnx raised to n, kung ito ay 1 half yung n mo, magiging uh, exponent na tong x ay so ln2 ay raised to 1 half. Or simply, ln square root of 2. So, magiging final answer natin dito ay cosine 2x all over sine 2x times ln square root of 2. So, ito yung final answer natin. Okay, last example. Find the derivative of logarithm of x squared to the base 5 divided by x plus 1. So, Yung derivative nito ay quotient ng dalawang function. So, ito yung una, ito yung pangalawa, yung denominator. So, magiging derivative niya ay VDU minus UDV over V squared. So, ang yung mo dito, itong logarithm of x squared to the base 5, tapos ang derivative niyan ay, so, DU. So, DU over u times ln a which is yung u mo dyan, yung x squared tapos ang du ng x squared ay 2x tapos ang a mo dyan, yung base na 5 no okay so pag etong tatlong to in input natin dito so maging ang du mo dyan sa u ay 2x over so u mo ay x squared eto yun times ln 5 no ln 5. So, yung du at saka yung u pa lang yung pinag-uusapan na dito sa quotient rule. Yung v naman ang kukunin natin. So, x plus 1. Ang derivative ng x plus 1 ay 1. Tsaka natin siya i sa substitute dito sa formula. So, ang v natin, x plus 1, x plus 1 times. So, derivative ng u which is 2x over x squared. 2x over x squared. ln5. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo dito, sa 2x over x squared ln5, makakancel na x, no? 
mawawala na, mababawasan yung x dito. Minus, so yung u natin ay logarithm of x squared to the base 5. So, yun yung u natin times derivative ng v which is 1. All over, so yung v natin ay x plus 1 squared. Okay? So, para maging same denominator yung numerator natin, etong x ln 5, to times natin dito. Tapos, etong 2, uh, distribute na rin natin, no? So, 2x plus 2, okay? Minus, so etong logarithm of x squared to the base 5, ita times natin saan? Sa x ln 5. So, next, since common denominator na sila, pwede na natin divide sa x plus 1 squared, okay? So, since uh, wala na tayo masisimplify dito, pagsasamahin na lang natin yung denominator natin, oh. Okay? So, magiging final answer natin dito ay 2x plus 2 minus logarithm of x squared to the base 5 times x ln 5 all over x ln 5 ito yun times ito, x plus 1 squared so ito yung final answer natin sa huling example